I am so lucky to have a ton of makeup, but it is actually getting to the point where it's a little sickening. Hello, hello everyone. I wanted to do a makeup declutter today. I thought it was time. I needed to go through my makeup collection, clean it out, and just get rid of some things. But before we get started, I do wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. As a makeup artist and a freelancer, I do think it is really important to have a landing page other than just your social media platforms, and Squarespace is exactly that. Squarespace is great, it's an all-in-one platform to help you build an online presence and to help you run your business. So you can go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline Forbes to get 10% off your first order. But we'll chat more about that after the declutter. Let's go hop into my makeup collection and get cleaning. Okay, so majority of my makeup collection is actually in my closet. I've had a ton of different makeup collection setups over the years, and if you click on some of my old videos, I'll link them down below, you can see all the different setups. This is what I've got going on right now. So this is my actual like clothing closet as well, but here at the bottom is where I keep my makeup collection. Now I've actually downsized my collection quite a bit over the years. This pretty much houses every single thing. I still do have like my makeup artist kit, like my Zuka, which has some stuff inside, but this is the bulk of everything. Each drawer has something different inside. They're dedicated to different types of products, but they're all overflowing and a little bit of a mess. So let's go drawer by drawer, clean it out, and get things organized. Okay, so this is how it's gonna work. One goal is to kind of declutter, clean up the organization, and make it a lot more simple. Two, I wanna toss any expired products or old products or products that have just, that don't need to be used on the face anymore. You know what I'm saying? So those types of products will just get tossed completely. And then three, there's gonna be a bunch of makeup that I'm sure I can give to family and friends. Obviously, I'll wipe it down and sanitize it as much as I can. But if there's, say, lip products that I've never used before, they don't get as much love, or makeup palettes or eyeshadows, those will all go into a collective friends and family pile, and then I can have, you know, people sort through that and take what they want from it. So that way we're not wasting anything. But without further ado, we should just hop into the collection. Up here, we have the lip products, and I feel like this could use a lot of downsizing. There is a lot of things going on in here. It's actually not the messiest, which is good, but let's start to go through. Okay, so these are actually pretty organized, so I'm going to keep these in the containers, but go through them section by section. So first, over here are lip balms. I'm obsessed with lip balm. This is actually one of my favorites, the Laneige Sleeping Mask. So I have these two in two different flavors, for sure keeping those. Now this Burt's Bees one, I definitely have another one in my purse, and this one is completely unused. I feel like this can probably go to a friend. I love these Bite Agave lip ones. I'm gonna definitely keep that. This Urban Decay one, you know what? This actually, I feel like it was melted and like has a really weird texture. I feel like it's gone bad. That one's getting tossed. I love the lip masks, love the Glossier, love some SPF. Now this Charlotte Tilbury lip balm I've had for way too long that actually will need to get tossed as well. Some more sticks, those are good. And now this, I've definitely had this for quite a while, but I feel like, I think it's okay. They're definitely good to have once in a while. Okay, next up we've got lip liners. Now these are actually, again, fairly organized. I have my colored lip liners here and then I have my neutral lip liners here. I'm going to go through it, but I think for the most part, I mean, we'll see. These are all nice. I have so many Charlotte Tilbury. I love Charlotte Tilbury's formula of lip liner. I think they're really good. Now, a lot of these are honestly probably very similar in tone, but since I use so many neutral lips on an everyday basis, I don't I don't hate the idea of having a ton of them. I actually don't think there's anything I want to get rid of. There's a couple of really nice NYX lip liners in here as well. Okay, wow, we are off to a slow start. And again, going through the colors, I've already done a fairly good job at making sure I have just like one solid bright red orange, one good purple lip liner, one more cool tone. I don't really think I have any duplicates here. So again, I'm actually not mad about that. That's gonna stay the same way. Okay, now these are more of the categories that I know could use some help. So should I zoom you guys in a little bit more? Okay, so first up is this gorgeous pile of Charlotte Tilbury lip products. Now, I am obsessed with Charlotte. I have an addiction and I have way too many. But honestly, I don't think every single one of these gets enough love. So I'm going to do my best to go through and see what I think is worth keeping. I'm gonna make a pile of my for sure's, which are mostly the neutral toned ones. I'm definitely going to do some comparisons. Oh my god, these are all so similar, but I still can't say no to any of them. Oh, I love this. This one's called Super 90s. It's like a very brown-based matte lipstick. How gorgeous is that? Okay, this one here is called Super Sexy, and I've literally never used it. Well, that was even like the first time that I swatched it. I feel like it's honestly just a bit too red tone for me, so I'd rather give this one to a friend that would enjoy this a lot more. This one here, Penelope Pink. I love this. This is one of my mom's favorite lip colors. This one here in Bond Girl. I feel like I actually haven't used this one in a while. It's a bit too muted of a color for me. This one is gonna go in the family and friends pile as well. This one here is very Victoria. This used to be one of my very favorite Charlotte Tilbury ones. I have so many similar ones, but honestly, this is so good. I know I'll use it. Miranda May. This is probably one of my favorite bright corals. I think it looks really good with the tan. 
And this one here, Tellora, again, my favorite, probably bright red orange lipstick. It is just absolutely insane. I love it. Love Liberty. I feel like I don't use this one very often. Yeah, it's a bit too vampy and purple for me. That one's gonna go. Glatzenbury. I feel like, again, this is kind of a bit of an old lipstick. I don't really wear purples like that. That one's gonna go as well. Okay, so basically all that I have left of the Charlotte ones are the neutrals and then these two bright colors here. Wow, I just love the look of those. Okay, I'm gonna take these out just so I have more room to work with. Okay, and then cleaning out this kind of random container here. This is a Charlotte gloss. I'm actually gonna keep that. It's a really nice kind of collagen lip bath plumping kind of gloss. Oh, and you know what? There's actually a few more Charlottes in here. Let's go through the Charlotte all first so we can be done with that. Love this lip gloss. Definitely keeping that one. This one here is Glowing Gen. Oh, this is uh, Jennifer Aniston's color. For sure keeping that one. This one here is Karina Star. It's a bit more corally, but again, something that I'll definitely use. Now this container here is more of like the mismatched higher end lip products. This here is a Fenty gloss. Honestly, this color is a bit too bold for me. I have other Fenty glosses that I prefer. This one's gonna go to a friend. This Clinique one's actually a really nice nude shade. I will keep that one. Again, another really nice Too Faced color, a bit paler, but I'm gonna keep it. Marc Jacobs, this, oh no, these are all the same color. Okay, let me compare formulas. I have to be better at this. Oh, these are all so similar. There's absolutely no way I can justify it. You know what, the feeling of the Clinique one feels the nicest, it's really lightweight. I think I'm gonna keep that one actually. So these two are gonna go. This one here is Tom Ford, and oh my God, this is a gorgeous, ready bright kind of orange. Actually, I feel like this is a bit more of like a cherry red than an orange red, and I feel like I would normally go for an orange red. See, this is the thing though, like the packaging of Tom Ford, I'm like, I don't know if I can, I can part with that. I'd rather have someone though that would use that more than me. This one here is from Fenty Beauty, and oh my God, this is the most pigmented crazy orange. I just don't know if I would ever wear an orange that orange. Uh, I think it's too orange for me. Okay, that one's gonna go. Guys, I'm being really good. This is really hard for me. This is another Fenty one. Again, really pretty color. I feel like the formula is actually a bit thick on these. It's a bit like too heavily pigmented. I feel like I'd rather give that to someone who'll use that more. Now these, I remember I was obsessed with these a few years ago. These are the Givenchy, um, what are these called actually? I can't remember the name, but they're like these like sheer kind of lip balmy lipsticks and I love the feeling of them. They're super comfortable. You can kind of like forget about them. Oh, this color is, I feel like, a bit maybe too pinky. That one's gonna go. And then this here, I think this was my most worn color. Yeah, that is just absolutely gorgeous. Do I need both of them, though? Both shade 200 and 101. They're very similar. I think I'm just gonna keep 200. Wow, look at that. That is good progress, my friends. Okay, now let's move on to all of these MAC ones. There is a bunch of things going on here. Kinda sexy. That is, like, such a classic. I'm gonna definitely keep that. Now this is probably the most classic red by MAC, it's Ruby Woo, and I don't really wear true reds, but I feel like it's good to have one really true red. Lady Danger, this is the perfect dupe for Charlotte Tilbury Tell Laura, so I'm definitely gonna keep that one. These colors are all so similar, but some of these are just gotta go. This is Velvet Teddy, this was such a move back in like 2015. I've gotta keep that just for nostalgia points. I feel like this color is actually a bit too pale for me, this one's gonna go. And then I've just got a brown lip gloss and a clear lip gloss. I'm definitely gonna keep those. I used to have an absolutely massive MAC lip gloss and like lipstick collection, so this is really, really good for me. This one in here is a bunch of different bite lipsticks. This one here is Blood Orange, which I think is very similar to kind of like the Lady Danger vibe, but I prefer more of the matte formula, so this one's gonna go. This here is a NARS lipstick in Barbara. Oh, this is so, so pretty. Again though, I have so many things similar to that. Do I need to keep it? No, I don't need to keep it. I'm getting rid of it. Now I have a bunch of Bite lipsticks here. These have expiration dates on them though, so I'm thinking some of these might actually have to get tossed. They're just like a little too, a little too old. Now some of these Bite ones are newer. I made these at the Bite Lab, the Bite Lip Lab? What is it called? The Bite Lip Lab where you can create custom colors. So I made these with my grandma like maybe six months ago. So the newer ones I will keep. Oh, this one is epic. I called this one Dijon. It's like the color of Dijon mustard. It's so weird, but I just like really wanted to make a color like that. Definitely keeping this. Oh, that is a super bright color. That one's gonna go to a friend. This here is a Clarence gloss. I remember buying this so many years ago. I'm obsessed with it. This is like such a great lip gloss. Now I feel like I can condense these two into there because this is kind of like a random, random brand. Okay, continuing on to this little section here. It's just kind of like another random gloss kind of pile. I will keep both of these because I don't have any other colored glosses. This lip oil, this is honestly so old, this probably has to get tossed. 
This Fenty gloss here, again, it's just a little too cool tone. I have a couple other Fenty glosses that I prefer more. This is going to go to a friend. I love this lip oil. This one's really good. The Bare Minerals glosses are really nice too. And you know what? This gloss is really pretty. So this is going to be my more colored glosses. Happy with those. And there are a bunch of Glossier products back here. These are the old formulas, which means I've had these for that long. So I feel like, oh yeah, these are like dried up anyways. I feel like a lot of these, unfortunately, have to just get properly... Oh, yeah, these need to go. They need to get tossed. Okay, and then in here I have a giant MAC palette, which I used to use this a lot more when I was a makeup artist. I would put this in my kit. I have a bunch of deep potted lipsticks, and this pretty much covers, like, every single color, and I can mix any color that I would need. So that's why I'm not too worried about, like, keeping every single rainbow color. I only keep my more, like, personal lipsticks that I know I'll wear, and then I keep a palette like this. So that way, in case I need to do a makeup look with a different color, I've got everything covered in here. So this, obviously, I'm going to keep, and that just goes in the back there. Now I have a backup of my most worn lip liner. This is a Makeup Forever lip liner in 2C. I wear this a ton. That's just going to get added to the lip liner container. Now I've got some liquid lipsticks here. I feel like liquid lipsticks aren't really, you know, the trend anymore. This one can probably go. I just feel like I really never wear them, but I might as well keep some. And then back here I have the colored liquid lipsticks, which are more of the brighter ones. I've got some, whoa, some more neutral, some red, some bright colors. You know what? I'm happy with the ones that I have here. I feel like I've got a good range of color. Now I actually have an extra container because we've got rid of that many things. Maybe I'll use that right now to organize the different, the different Charlotte lipsticks. There we go. That is the entire lip product drawer. That looks pretty good actually. Really clean, really easy to kind of find what I'm looking for. I'm really happy with that one. Okay, let's move on. Next up we've got, oh, this is a drawer that I'm not looking forward to doing. This is eyelashes, press on nails, and sponges, question mark. Let's, let's do some digging. Now I am definitely not the biggest full thick strip lash kind of girl. I definitely tend to go for more like natural half lashes or individuals, but I definitely still like having a ton if I am doing more of like, I don't know, a Halloween look or something super, super bold. I still like to have options and to have a fairly decent collection, but we need to organize these. So I've got some extra sponges. These just need to get out of there. I have some press on nails, which I actually love the impress kiss ones. They're so, so good, especially if you're in a pinch and you don't have your nails done, you just pop them on. I really like the Kiss lashes as well. I like the Ardell individuals. I'm obsessed with the Kiss eyelash glue. I think the Kiss eyelash glue is some of the best out there. I like the one where it has like the stick so you can just apply it and it's not messy at all. Got some Charlotte lashes here. These look a little too bold for me, but I am gonna keep them because I do wanna try them out. Got a bunch of NYX lashes over there. These ones are more of my like Halloween, more of my bold lashes. I actually really like these velour ones as well. They have some like faux mink ones that are really nice, like half more natural ones. And I normally like to have my lashes like flat and displayed. That way I can see them. I find that I'll reach for them a bit more. I find if they're visible, I'll be more likely to reach for them versus I used to store them kind of like this, but I would have no idea what was even there. So it was just honestly like really impractical. I don't mind stacking some of these NYX ones because these are more of like Halloween lashes. Like, do you see how crazy these ones are? These are more of like a character kind of eye look. So I don't mind if these ones go to the back because I don't reach for those very often. Now these Kiss ones here are really good because they're pretty simple to work with. And I'm gonna keep these extras of the adhesive, but I think I can just pop these out of the, of the container. Oh, I actually have a bucket back here of adhesive, so I will just add these in there. Those are gonna stay there. Whoa, these are absolutely crazy lashes. Oh my God, I just have, there's so many, so many lashes. Those are both there. I use my individuals a ton. Okay, that is looking 10 times better. I didn't really get rid of anything, actually. It was just more of reorganizing. I feel like lashes are one of those things that I could always have a ton of because eventually I'll use them between you know, having friends over and getting ready and just giving them a bunch of lashes or like playing around with styles. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think that looks good. Actually, maybe these two little backup sponges. Look at they have a perfect little home. Okay, let's move on. Next up, what do we have here? Oh. This is quite the colorful and glittery drawer. These are all of my eyeliners, colored eyeliners, mascaras, colored mascaras, crazy liquid liners, flash palettes, pigments, glitters, all of that fun stuff. Oh, and also eyebrow stuff. Now this is actually a drawer that I anticipate. I actually don't think I'll get rid of a lot of things because again, these are things that I'm like, you know what, there might be a day when I want to use purple glitter eyeliner and then I'm like, well, you know what, now I have it. But this definitely needs some organizing. Where do I even begin with this? This is like such a mess. Okay, so I have some mascaras here. These ones are like opened and kind of half used. So these have definitely been in here for way too long. Those are all gonna get tossed. 
Now I'm just gonna take these Fenty eyeliners out. I absolutely love all of these. These are for sure gonna stay, but I'm just gonna move them out of the way for right now. This is a little like half eyelash curler. It's actually really, really good, especially if you have more hooded eyes or like a strong brow bone. These can kind of help get in there. These are really nice. Now let's start by going through all this eyebrow stuff. I've got some Benefit Gimme Brow. I don't use that very often, but I guess definitely good to have. Now I have a few different color pomades, different brow pencils. I have such a variety of shades in here. I have some blonde ones, some darker colors, but again, these are nice if I have people come over and I'm doing their makeup. I'm always playing around with different eyebrow shapes and colors, so I feel like these are all my favorite ones. I've got some Charlotte, NARS, Kelly Baker Brows, Benefit, Fenty Beauty. I feel like these are all really nice options to have. So that is actually going to stay. Now this is my beloved Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I use this all the time. Isn't this crazy? I've had this for so many years, but it looks so not used. That is amazing. I'm keeping this for sure. Now I've got some extra eyelash curler, like, what are these called? Like the little rubber stoppers. So I've got some fresh ones there because I always like to replace those. Got some extra spoolies. Got a backup eyebrow pencil. That never hurts. Now let's see what we've got going on in here. I've got some gold foil, which is really good for more editorial makeup looks. I'm definitely going to be keeping that. These are all my glitters and pigments. Let me do a quick little skim and see if there's anything that I definitely know I can get rid of. Oh, see, this is where I definitely struggle because I'm like, I think I need every single pigment. Like, look at how beautiful this is. This is MAC Tan Pigment. That is just so stunning. There's some really good Inglot ones in here as well. Okay, these are all good. These got to stay. I cannot get rid of those. And then these glitters, again, for festivals, I always find myself somehow reaching for these. I've got some Dazzle Shadow Liquids, some Urban Decay Heavy Metals. These are glitter gels. They're so good for your eyes or for your hair for, like, music festivals. I've got some like sequins and glitter chunks, things like that. I don't think I can part ways with any of these as well. Okay, wow. As expected, this side is staying exactly the same. Okay, this is probably, these things can probably do some decluttering. Now these are open mascaras, but these blues are great vibrant blues. So it's definitely good to use for a look once in a while. I will keep those. This Charlotte Tilbury mascara. I feel like this has been open for way too long. That probably needs to get checked. Same with this Smashbox Super Fan Mascara. This has been in here for far too long. That's gonna go. Now I do like having some lash primers because if I am doing like a blue mascara, I like to use a white base to make the color pop a bit more. So I will keep that one. I also have this Marc Jacobs one. This is more of like a flesh tone one, but again, good for a certain occasion. This one kind of pairs with it. And again, this is another lash primer, but I feel like I would go for the Urban Decay one before I would go for this one. So this one's gonna go. Okay, we are we are making progress here, friends. Next up, we've got eyeliners. These are all colored eyeliners. Oh, no, I feel like this MAC one is not nearly as pigmented as this NARS one. Oh, yeah, that's like no comparison. This MAC one is going to go. Oh, see, those are all so good. Okay, I'm doing that. I have to keep all of those. Now, I really like the Urban Decay 24-7 pencils because they have so many different colors. They're all super pigmented. And I love doing like a neon liner or like a cool kind of color around the eye. Oh, wow. That is so epic. So I can pretty much find a reason to justify all of these colors. They're just, they're so good. NARS actually has quite a few um, cool colored eyeliners as well. Now, I feel like this MAC liner isn't very pigmented and I would probably opt for a cool pencil before I would use this. So this fluid line is going to go. Okay, moving on to more regular black, brown, neutral kind of colored liners. I have some backups here. This is a Maybelline Tattoo Liner. This one can go. This is in package still. I don't need that. Now, I absolutely love the Stila Liquid Eyeliners. I'm definitely going to keep that one. I have a few different Fenty eyeliners here. These ones are really cool. I'm definitely looking forward to using those a bit more. This pencil is definitely so old. I'm not even going to open that. That needs to go. This is another liquid liner that just needs to go. It's been there for way too long. Okay, I've gotten rid of all the old dried out liners. Those are all the extras. I'm gonna keep this back up in here as well. Back here, I have some extra mascaras and extra backups of products. I've got an unopened purple mascara. What is this? Liquid liners. So this is actually kind of nice. I'm gonna keep all the backup liquid liners back there so I know that I have more. And these are just gonna stay back there. The mascaras are there. We've got eyebrow stuff. Got my extra spoolies and little weird tools that are going to go back there. And then all of these absolutely beautiful liners that I use all the time, these amazing Fenty ones, are going to go back in the front. There we go. I didn't get rid of that many things from this drawer, but it's looking a lot more organized. Super happy with this one. Let's move on. 
Next up, we've got, oh, this one needs tons of work. This is my concealer foundation drawer, and you can tell things are needing help. I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna take out all of these containers, that way I just have room to work around, and I'm gonna start with all the liquid foundations. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with my for sure yeses, the products that I definitely wanna keep. Smashbox, I love this IT Cosmetics CC Cream. I really like actually this tinted moisturizer. I haven't actually properly tried out this Fenty one, so I do want to give that a fair shot. I typically love NARS foundations. I will keep that one. Definitely like the Too Faced Born this way. These actually are both really nice. This is a Clinique Even Better Makeup with SPF 15. Really good for like a healthy skin day. You want SPF. These just feel really good and look good on the skin. I'm going to keep one of these. I feel like this one might work out a bit better. Um, I think this is like the matte formula and this is the dewy formula. So I would definitely normally try out the dewy formula. I've got some double wear foundation here. I feel like... The darker one is a bit too dark for me. I'll keep the lighter shade just so I have one. This one here is the Power Fabric one. I think that the shade, again, just isn't right for me. That one's gonna go. This is a stick foundation for Makeup Forever. I definitely love that one for being on camera. I've got a bunch of Makeup Forever colors here and I use these foundations a ton, so I will be keeping all of those. Okay, so that's a pretty solid start. I've got a Max Mixing Medium here. This is actually not specifically just for foundations. I use this for a bunch of different makeup uses, so that is definitely good to have. Now I have a couple of NYX foundation mixers to make things lighter or darker. I feel like I honestly don't really use these that often, but I feel like these could be really useful. So I am gonna justify those. And I just have a backup of MAC Face and Body. This is in C3. This is like my most worn um, everyday kind of foundation. Let me go through these primers first and make sure that I'm using everything. So I've got the hydrating primer and a mattifying primer. Those are both really good options to have. I've got a Makeup Forever one. I love this Hourglass one. What shades of these do I have? Strobe Cream is again another really nice kind of like priming base to start with. Now you know what? I feel like I don't really use this Glossier Priming Moisturizer. This one's gonna go. So that is gonna go in there. That'll be a really nice organizer for that. Okay, next up, I have way too many concealers here. We definitely need to, need to figure out what's going on with these. Now this brightening concealer is a really good color correcting concealer. I wanna open all these minis out. These just like don't need to be in these containers. It's taking up way too much space. My most worn concealer is definitely the NARS Creamy Concealer. I think it is the best concealer ever. So I pretty much have like every single shade in it, but it's one of those things like when I find makeup that I like and if I find a certain product, I have no desire to even try anything else. I just know what works for me and my skin type. And especially when it comes to skin products, I've had so many like acne issues and skin issues over the years that when I find something that works for my skin type, I just, I just go with it. Definitely got more NARS Creamy Concealer than anyone could ever need. Now I have a few different concealers for MAC here, but I would never reach for these over my NARS one, so I'm just gonna get rid of these and give these to friends. There's a Fenty concealer in here that I haven't really played around with enough, so I'm definitely gonna keep that. I've got a Charlotte one and then one Bare Minerals one, which I actually will keep both of those as well. Now let's deal with all of these powders. Ooh, I have another concealer there. Oh, this Clarin ones is so good. There's like probably one or two more uses in that, but I will keep that as well. I also have a few different concealer palettes here, and this one is from NYX. This is really good because it has a bunch of different colors for color correcting, or in my case, I'm pretty sure I use this to block up my eyebrows and do like an entire bald cap. So if you want to see how I make myself bald, I will link that video up above. This palette here is, again, just another really good one to have to mix the perfect color, so I will keep both of those as well. Okay, and then finally for this drawer, I just have some powders. I've got a powder foundation from Bare Minerals. I rarely ever use powder foundation, but I like to keep one just to have it on hand. Got some Dermablend Loose Setting Powder. Again, just a really nice powder to have on hand. I pretty much can never say no to loose powders because I eventually know I'll go through them. I've got this Waterproof Setting Powder from Urban Decay. This one's been really interesting, actually. I just got a variety of NYX ones, some NARS More Pressed Powders. Okay, and there we go, there are all the powders. Wow, look at this, we are doing really good. Look at all this extra room. Okay, obsessed. Now we are moving on to the next drawer. Next up, we have blushes, cheek palettes, cream highlights, powder highlights, and setting sprays. Okay, so I think let's start off with these setting sprays because that seems like the easiest thing to deal with. This Chill setting spray here, I've had this for way too long. This just needs to get tossed. It's way too old. This is my most used setting spray of all time. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm gonna just open this up and get rid of the box. Then I have a few different Fix Pluses here. What is this? Oh, this is a coconut one. Mmm, that smells so good. I'm definitely keeping that one. And this is the rose scented one. I feel like I maybe don't need every single one of these. I'm gonna get rid of the rose, keep the original and the coconut. 
Now I'm gonna take these containers out. Let's start with some of these palettes back here. So I have a backup of the Film Star and Glow by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm absolutely obsessed with that. That is for sure staying. I have a few different contour palettes here. Again, really good if you are an actual makeup artist and you want a bunch of different colors for your kit. I'm gonna take a look. I think one is a deeper set. Yeah, I just feel like these are kind of good to have. If I'm doing someone's makeup, there's a lot of variety in here. This is a really cool kind of reflective kind of highlight palette. Those are really nice. Sometimes I use this as highlights, but also as eyeshadows. But this palette here from NARS, and this is kind of like my bronze goddess dream palette. I don't know if I use it necessarily as much as I should be. You know what? I feel like someone else could probably put this to better use than I can. That was going to go to a friend, as much as I love that palette. Okay, now that the palettes are all sorted out back there, let's... Mm, where should I start? I guess let's do these bronzers over here. So I've got a contour stick up here. This is actually more of a foundation, but I've used it for bronzer before and it works really, really nicely. This giant Marc Jacobs bronzer. I remember saving up my money and going to Sephora to buy this. I was in makeup school and my one of my teachers at the time was like obsessed with this, so I went out and bought it right away. This is actually a really nice bronzer. I've had it for so long, but I think that one's still fine. Got this little mini here for traveling. Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer, definitely keeping that. This Hourglass Bronzer, it's a bit orange. I can only use it when I'm super, super tan. But I just, I'm obsessed with Hourglass and the packaging, so I definitely keep it because of that. Got a few Fenty bronzers here. I've got some deeper colors in case I'm working on someone with a darker skin tone than I am. And kind of a lighter bronzer. I like these for variety. Fenty has such an amazing shade range. I love, I love trying out their products. And then I've got the OG NARS Laguna bronzer, which again, I cannot part ways with just yet. I do use most of these bronzers, so I am going to keep pretty much all of those. Okay, moving on to blushes. This is definitely way too small of a container for how many blushes I have. I love Charlotte Tilbury blushes. There used to be this one in Ecstasy that I would use literally all the time, and then I dropped it one day, and it shattered, and I haven't gotten a replacement since then. Oh, there is some weird powder going on in there. This is Sex is on Fire, and I feel like, honestly, this is a bit too a bit too light for me. That one is going to go to a friend. I love this one. That one's a really pretty color. And this one here is Pillow Talk. I definitely love these three. I'm going to be keeping all of those. This Bare Minerals one is really nice. These Too Faced ones, again, are nice. Now, moving on to... These are, like, cream highlights and some cream blushes, actually. These ones here are from Burt's Bees. I do like the Burt's Bees ones. They're actually, like, really... They leave a really beautiful sheen. You definitely have to be careful with whatever you're using underneath because since they are so oil-based, there's a ton of coconut oil in them, so they can kind of pull away some of the color. I really like this one, though. This one is Peach Pond. I use that one a ton. And this one here is in Blush Bay. And again, it's just kind of like a really nice, healthy kind of color. I don't really think I need this cream highlighter. I have so many other cream highlighters that I prefer, but I love those two blushes. This one here is a liquid highlighter from Bare Minerals. I feel like it's really similar to that Charlotte wand that I use all the time, so I don't think I'm going to need that one. And I absolutely love these Charlotte wands. These are a bit more of like a highlighter and then some blushy tones. These are good in there. Now I've got some cream blushes here. I absolutely love these Glossier Cloud paints. Those ones are going to stay. This NARS liquid blush is amazing in the summertime. Those are going to stay as well. I've got this Oaken Fort blush, which I actually haven't tried ever before. I feel like it might be... I feel like it's actually a bit too dark for me. That one's going to go to a friend. And then I have a few Bite Beauty sticks here, which I do really like these kind of multi-sticks, but I feel like these are a bit bold and dried up. And if I'm completely honest, I feel like I would reach for my... Um, oh yeah, these are all dried up. These need to get tossed. I feel like I would reach for my nude sticks ones now before I would reach for these anyways. Like, they're such pretty colors, like this blondie one and honey wheat. They're so gorgeous, but these are definitely just too old. Okay, and then last but not least, I've got some powder highlights here. I've got this highlight kit from Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, I can't get rid of that just yet. I've got some Fenty kind of cheek toppers there. I do really like these. Oh, this is a gorgeous. This is more of like an eyeshadow than a highlight of anything on me, but I still really like that. I love my Becca highlight. Oh no, I just got, just got makeup everywhere. Yeah, the one thing that was, you know, really poor planning on my end, the fact that I keep all of my makeup in my super off-white, really light-colored room is probably the worst decision I've ever made because I've got to be really careful about getting makeup stains everywhere. One day, I dream of having, like, a proper, like, makeup glam room, but I live in a really small little apartment, so that is not the case right now, but a girl can dream one day. Anyways, what I was going to say is this Bare Minerals highlighter is really nice. It's really subtle, and I haven't actually used it that often, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I actually should probably pull that out and use it a bit more. Okay, so again, I have a ton of extra room in this drawer, which is good, because I always, I always want to, you know, keep a little bit of room for growth, but this is looking nice and clean, 
functional. I love it. Now this final drawer here is definitely a drawer that I know needs some help because it is just an absolute mess. And you know what, I'm kind of thinking I might have a solution. I think some of these products can actually move to the drawer above. So this is my eyeshadow drawer, but I should definitely just keep it just eyeshadow. Now I've got some brush cleaners and some like little water bottle things in there. I think these here are some empty products for Back to Mac. They do have that recycling program, which is good. If you're a makeup artist going through products a lot, definitely worth returning and recycling your products there. So since I do have so much extra room in this drawer, I'm going to put kind of all of my like proper tools in here. So I have a bunch of different sponges and things like that. Actually, I'm going to grab this sponge from this eyelash drawer because I just don't need to be there. These containers are great. I feel like I get questions about these all the time. All these clear containers are from Muji. I'll link them down below. They fit perfectly in the depth of these Ikea drawers. And then this is what I use sometimes to clean my brushes. It's just nice to have like some texture and some areas to kind of clean them. So that'll also go back here. You know what? I don't like the way that this drawer is looking. I'm such a visual person. If I don't like how it's looking, it's gonna really bother me. I need this to move. I need to rearrange this. These palettes need to go on this side. This feels a bit better in my brain. That feels a lot better. Okay, there we go. Now that feels a lot better. Now we can move on to the final drawer. Oh, the eyeshadow drawer. This one always just becomes a mass palettes and single shadows. It's just, it's always a lot to deal with. So let's, let's get organizing. Okay, well now I've got a lot more room now that we moved that one container out of here. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the big items. Let's do the big palettes first. Now, the last time I properly cleaned up my entire makeup collection was about a year ago. I'll link that video up above in case you want to watch it. But that time, I really kind of went through and got rid of a ton of stuff. So I still feel like my collection, it's at a pretty good place. Like, it hasn't... I've been good about not letting too many other things kind of accumulate and come in. So I don't foresee me getting rid of a lot of these palettes because these palettes I've already really kind of, like, fine-tuned to pick my favorites. I absolutely love the Urban Decay shadows. I feel like the palettes have a lot of variety and there's a lot of good colors in there. And this palette here is my friend Adeline's. This was her collab with Tarte. I love this palette. The palette just smells so good. The blush is so lovely. The highlight is so good. Definitely will be keeping that one. A few different like Charlotte kind of quad things. I guess they're not quads. They're really good, just like little travel packs. So depending on my coloring, this one's like the lighter one. This is a bit deeper. So this is really good, um, yeah, for traveling. So I will be keeping those as well. Got more of my colored palettes going in there. This is a crazy colored palette, but I actually find myself reaching for that a lot. It's just super annoying. I hate, it really bothers me when packaging isn't like square or it's like inconveniently bulky. Like this is another palette. I hate how it's bubbled out because then you can't stack it or store it really well. And I love the palette. This Too Faced kind of matte collection is so, so lovely and I don't want to get rid of it, but it's just horribly inconvenient to store, which is so annoying. Okay, and here I have a weird mess of like loose kind of shadows. I'm going to do these big palettes first. Urban Decay number one and two. These are just such OGs. I can never get rid of those. Now I have a bunch of different kind of eyeshadow quads. These are the Charlotte ones. I absolutely love all of these. I can never part ways with those. Now these are actually really nice. If you like doing more bold neon looks, these NYX uh, primal colors are absolutely incredible. I use them all the time to set um, cream eyeshadow or to kind of reinforce and do crazy bold liners with. So I definitely like having all of those, but I just need to organize this a bit better. Okay, so that I feel like is pretty good for now. Now this little section here has some smaller eyeshadow palettes. There's some Smashbox palettes. That one is crazy. I feel like I use this one a ton too. This has a bunch of really fun, bold colors. Now this NARS eyeshadow palette here, it's a bit more cool tone than I would normally pick out, but I've been really just loving these like NARS little, what are these, 12 eyeshadows? Yeah, the little 12 eyeshadow palettes I think are so, so good. So I will add that over there. And then some Makeup Forever kind of singles that I've made into palettes over there as well. Now I've got some cream eyeshadows here and I've got some, what are these? Like kind of glossy eyeshadow pots from NYX. Those are really cool. I've got a few different paint pots from MAC. I definitely like to use those. Now these are probably my favorite cream eyeshadows of all time. These are from Charlotte Tilbury. My favorite one is actually the one that's in my everyday makeup kind of desk. It's the one in Betty. This one here though in Star Gold is another really nice one. I like to use this when I have a bit more of a tan. I just love the shimmers in here are really good. They don't crease. They wear really nicely. If you're looking for a really good cream eyeshadow, would definitely recommend checking out the Charlotte ones. I also have this random liquid eyeshadow from Stila. It's like this weird purpley kind of gold color, but... I just kind of, there's something about it that I love, and I definitely want to do a look with that, so I'm definitely going to be keeping that. Now, going into this, these are, what is this? We've got a, we've got a bit of a mess going on here. 
these glossier lid stars are really interesting i don't reach for them too too often but definitely good for like a nice little like wash of color now these are a bunch of different sticks again charlotte does a really good job with all of these sticks they're like these jumbo kind of crayons for the eye Ooh, mark jacobs is another brand that does really good cream eyeshadow sticks like look at look at how insane that is they feel so cooling on the eye as well those are definitely staying got an eyeshadow primer here i will keep that that can go in this there in there for now these are some more primers by nars that can go in this container over here Oh, these are really cool. These are from Bite Beauty. They're like kind of like duo chromey eyeshadow looks. I feel like I use these a lot more for like kind of festival season. Yeah, you know what? These ones are a bit too dried out. These are all going to go. Okay, there we go. That is the final drawer. Look at how clean this is now. Oh, this feels so good. So this here is my makeup desk and I kind of work on it, but there's also a bunch of makeup in this drawer. Now this is more of my everyday makeup. Like I'll just sit here and do my makeup and these are more of my go-to products. Now this drawer is definitely a bit of a hot mess. I don't think I'll have a lot of things to declutter or get rid of, but this drawer just needs organizing because it's clearly, it's overflowing and sometimes I can't shut the drawer. So that is a problem. We can make this look better. Let's get to it. So I think what I need to do is kind of lay it out in the order that I use it. I kind of started to do foundations here. This was supposed to be more like face products and blush, and this is supposed to be eyes and lips, but that is obviously not the case. Let's do some rearranging. Let me take out some things because we need to start fresh. So this container definitely needs some help. I'm going to take out all the lip products because there really shouldn't be any lip products in this container. Now I absolutely love these nude stick sticks. I don't know if I need every single one in here. This could be a little excessive. Actually, this could probably go back into my main collection. I haven't used the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand in a while. I will keep the highlight one in here though. Okay, so I'm going to save this for kind of prep products. So whether that be lips, primers, things like that, and then a bunch of like face sticks and any kind of face products that are more of this shape. So I'm gonna try to place this down in the order that I would use them. So first up, I'm gonna put a primer there. I also use this Makeup Forever one sometimes if I'm using the foundation. These are my lip balms right now that I normally start off with. And then lately I've been using this Bite lip gloss as well. So those can kind of stay there because that would be kind of the first thing that I would do for my makeup. And then next up, we're going to put in sticks and cream blushes and things like that. Now, this contour stick is just about done, so I'm going to finish that up. Now, I want to have a second one for once that dies. I've been using this Bare Minerals one when I'm a bit more pale, and then this Terracotta Tan one by Nude Sticks when I have a bit more of a tan. So I'm not mad if I keep both of those options in there, because after a few more uses of that, I know that'll definitely get tossed out. So those can stay in there. Now, I definitely have way too many cream blushes in here. I don't need this many at a time. So let me pick which ones are going to go back into the main collection. Now, I feel like these two here, Poppy Girl and Tiger Lily Queen, these are more brighter blushes, and I really wear these more when I have a tan. I love Poppy Girl. Poppy Girl was like my most worn blush of last year. Now, this one here, I haven't used it. It's more of a new one in my collection, but it's a lot more orange-based. I feel like maybe I should wait, wait until I have a tan. I don't know if I'll... Oh, they're both so pretty though. Okay, wait, these are both gonna go into the maybes. Let's see out of these two blushes here. I've got In the Nude and then Sun Kissed here. Now I feel like these are a bit better for right now because I am a bit more on the pale side. Sun Kissed is the most gorgeous color. I'm obsessed with it. Oh wow, these are all so good. These are such Jacqueline colors because I'll use them as an eyeshadow too. You know what, okay, we're keeping all of these in here. Okay, so those are all going in there, and then I'm going to keep two or three cream highlights. So these are all the liquid highlights that I have right now that are my most worn. This Hey Honey one, again, I use it a bit more when I have a tan, but it is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. This is definitely staying in there. Now this one here from Glossier, this is the Halo Scope one in quartz. And again, this is better when I'm a bit paler, so I feel like I need that one as well. And this one here by Charlotte is kind of one in between, but it's a bit of a different finish. These ones are more stickier and more balmy, whereas this is more of a liquid. So again, for options, I just feel like these are all needed. Okay, I'm happy with that. That makes sense to me. Now I have this super old cream blush here from MAC. This is Lady Blush. This was one of the first types of MAC products that I ever purchased like 10 years ago when I was first getting into makeup because Megan Hart's makeup, who was like one of the biggest beauty gurus at the time, used to always talk about this. So I remember I was like, I need to get this. I feel like this honestly might be a little a little too old. Whoa, it's very similar to Tiger Lily Queen, actually. That's so funny. Now, if I'm completely honest, I think this one is just ready to get tossed. It's looking a little weird. I feel like it's got a bit of a film on it. It's just not something that I want to put on my face right now. So this one is going to get tossed. Now, just floating around here, I have a few other powder blushes, but these ones I don't wear as much. So these ones are going to go back into my collection. They don't need to be in this section right here. 
Okay, I'm just gonna pull out all of these random powders and containers. I've got two sets of individual lashes here. I definitely only need one. So this one will go back into my main collection. I'm gonna zoom you guys out for a second so you can see, see the true mess that's happening. Oh, oh, another palette back there. Now this desk actually is from CB2 and I have to say it's a really good size for storing makeup if you're like, you know, having an everyday makeup drawer. I actually really like this desk, so I will link that down below. Okay, so these products are going in here. Now I definitely need to clean out all of these different lip products. This powder shouldn't be in there. Okay, so this is a yes. These are my brow products. I use this every day. Now do I need all of these lip liners? These definitely are more of my go-to. You can tell I love me a brown eyeliner. Got some Fenty in here, Charlotte Tilbury. There's a NARS one that I really like. These mascaras look good. Got a mini pillow talk. This is like a little baby one for your purse. I probably don't need that in there either. Probably don't need this gloss in there. Okay, so all the lip glosses are gonna go here. We've got my most worn lipsticks, tubes of mascara. Well, let's see, do I need every single? Mm, I like all of these, I really do. Now I also normally keep a gel eyeliner in there. This is my little freck, freckle maker and then a sharpener. So that's looking good to me. So I normally pop that back there. This can go like that. Okay, next let's deal with this giant foundation bucket that definitely needs some help. There is way too much in here. This concealer can go back to my collection. I haven't been wearing that a ton lately. This concealer can go. I normally just use my NARS creamy concealers. Now this probably seems excessive. I have four different shades of NARS creamy concealer, but I use all of these for different reasons depending on if I'm covering a blemish, doing my under eyes. So all four of these colors will definitely need to stay. I love this Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. This is kind of like a foundation or like a primer or a highlighter. You can do so many different things with it. So definitely good to have. I like this Nude Sticks one, two different shades of face and body. That's normally my go-to foundation. Now, you know what? I haven't really used this Fenty Beauty Body Shimmer in a while, so that probably can just go back into my main collection. There's gotta be a better way. Okay, the next up, I think it just comes to shuffling things inside. So I have just like a dewy kind of setting spray from Fenty Beauty. This is my normal go-to. This is Urban Decay All Nighter. These will stay here as well as that foundation. Now I have another primer here. Actually, I do like the Smashbox primer. I feel like I haven't opted for it in a while though, so this will just go back into my regular collection. And this here is actually really cool. This is from Inglot, and it kind of revives any dried out liners or mascaras. So I'll actually keep that in here as well. I've got my Anastasia Brow Powder. This is so good for filling in your hairline, so I'm gonna add that into this pile as well. Now, as for these kind of bigger palettes and powders, let's see what I really need. So I've got a translucent setting powder here. That makes sense to me. I really love this Hourglass setting powder as well. It's a bit more of like a dewy finish, so that will stay there. Now, I love these Charlotte powders. One of them is absolutely annihilated, not this one. This one's the lighter shade. This medium one though, oh yeah. That's hanging on by a thread, but I'm gonna finish that up because I love that. So I need to kind of like make a section for powders actually. And these, oh no. Oh, that'll close, okay. Now I have a few different eyeshadow palettes here. Let's see what ones I've been using the most. I've got some NARS ones. I've actually been loving the NARS eyeshadow palettes. Like how, how beautiful are those? And I've got this, I think this is a Charlotte. Mm, you know, I haven't reached for this one in a while. This will go just back into my regular collection. I've got the Dolce Vita. This is probably my most used eyeshadow palette from Charlotte. I will keep that one. Now I love this bronzer and highlighter palette. Use this contour palette all the time. Those will stay. Ooh, now I love this blush palette from Smashbox, but I haven't used this in a while. This is more of a summer palette. So I'm just gonna put that into my regular collection. And then, you know what, same with that one too. That one can go back into my regular collection. And I have a cream blush palette here. I love this. This is like a makeup artist's dream. It's so, so incredible. But again, I normally only reach for this when I'm doing different looks. So this is just gonna go into my regular collection. Okay, so I've decided these three eyeshadow palettes are gonna stay. And these can just go back here. I don't reach for eyeshadow as often. I'm gonna use this bronzer until I finish it up. It's hanging on by just a thread. I've been using this powder blush lately. That can stay in there. Love this Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. You can tell the makeup products that I love because they're absolutely destroyed. This has literally been around the globe with me. I brought this to South Korea. I bring it to the States all the time when I travel and it just absolutely gets annihilated each time, but I love it so much, so I'm gonna finish it up. Now I've got this Patrick Star Powder here, which has actually been really good for baking. I don't bake too often, but when I do, it's nice to have that there on hand. And then these are debatably the best concealers in the world. These are, again, another makeup artist, like pro staple. These are the Derma Blend concealers. They don't look like anything glamorous but they're so so effective so if I have a really crazy blemish or really dark under eyes I'll use these so I like to have those available 
Then I just have some other pressed kind of foundations for a bit more coverage if I want more of a uh, pigmented setting powder. I'm gonna put my lashes back there. And now these are some cream shadows from Charlotte. I love that, that's gonna stay in here. And this is just a good eyeshadow crease color to have. So these will go, I think these can probably sit in here and that'll be fine. Now this here is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is like a body shimmer. This is actually really good for like a night out or something like that if you're showing off your legs. It has this beautiful kind of like bronzy shimmer to it. So I will add this inside here. I don't use this as often, but good to have conveniently readily available. Okay, so this is definitely still a ton of makeup, but it's looking a lot more organized and I'm much more happy with it. And we did clean out quite a few products. So I think this is good to go. And look at that, it closes perfectly without any issues. Absolutely incredible. Okay, so this is what's going back to the regular collection. This guy is getting tossed. Ooh, that's pretty significant. That's quite a bit of product we're taking out of the regular everyday makeup drawer, so I'm really happy with that. Okay, so here are all the final items that we're getting rid of. It's not as actually as big as what I've done before. I've had cleanouts where I've had like just so many products, it's actually insane. So this is a bucket of things that are gonna go to friends and families. I'm gonna go through like kind of clean down and sanitize all the lipsticks and um, I'll just have people kind of pick through what they want out of that. And then this little pile here is what's getting tossed out because things are old or expired. These are all just gonna get tossed and say goodbye to. Whoa, okay, I literally broke a sweat from that. That was intense, but I feel good. I feel like cleaning is just one of those things you don't ever wanna do it, but once you do it, you're like, Life is right again, I feel so much better. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this and maybe I inspired you to go clean out your collection because you should definitely do that. I know you should, it's probably getting overwhelming. And you know what, you should actually clean your makeup brushes too. That's my next, the next thing on my list. My makeup brushes are so gross, they just need a good deep clean. Anyways, I can just not say enough good things about cleaning, but I did wanna to chat to you guys a little bit more about our sponsor, Squarespace. Now, I know I chat about Squarespace all the time and you guys know that I love them. I've been using them for my own personal website for over a year now. What I really like is that on Squarespace, all their template designs support all different content types, whether that's pages, galleries, commerce. You can also link out to all your social media platforms, whether that's Twitter, YouTube videos, anything like that. It really is so easy to use. You guys know I have no background in designing a website or coding or anything like that. And with Squarespace, it makes it really easy and really simple. The interface is super easy to use. I can go in there, add a new page, make an edit, do a revision, and it's not complicated at all, which is good because I have no background in any of that stuff. So if you are planning on making a website, definitely try out Squarespace. You can go to squarespace.com slash Jacqueline Forbes and get 10% off your first order. Anyways, that is it for me today. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you guys subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, follow, comment, do all the things, and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!